Hello and welcome back to the Reality Check VR video. When you, are here. you really want to make sure when you're unboxing your package that you keep the blade away from you at all times. That way I recommend actually unboxing it like this. You want to actually just tear the blade across, but you don't want to you don't want to point it towards you. No, none of that stuff. You want to get you want to just pull it the other direction, but you also you also want to make sure you hold it the right way. Cause I wasn't holding it the right way. So if you hold it the right way, oh, it just slips right through. So that's the best thing to do. Very well padded. So we can kind of see it here. This is the Desk Tech version four. If you uh, saw the version number one, it was pretty bulky. As per usual, when you get one of these mobile headsets, the box usually does come a little bit deformed. It's almost, it's almost just a token of these mobile VR headsets. Strap, okay, we've got a strap there. Looks like a headset carrying cloth case. Of course, we have our microfiber cloth. We'll go ahead and put that down. All right, looks like they give you a desk tech phone stand. Interesting, okay, okay. As well as, of course, there's your instruction manual that tells you how to use a mobile, a mobile VR headset. So uh, if you don't know how to use the mobile VR headset, there you go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. First thing that's obvious is this thing is much more comfortable looking than the original version, and of course, much more sleek looking. It has a kind of a, a Gear VR look about it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up there. Looks like the lenses are plenty big. Straps in, it's really easy. We just open the Velcro on the sides and just strap them back in. Okay, it's got plastic covering the lenses. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Uh, one thing that's very interesting here is the nose piece actually is a, it's kind of a soft plastic. It's not really, a, a, you know, it's not a squishy plastic, uh, but it's not a hard plastic. So when you put your head in it, your nose is actually resting right on that bridge piece, which, which actually keeps it somewhat secure. At first I thought it was going to be painful, but then I realized it's a, it's a soft plastic, so, you know, it could be, could be alright. Uh, we can move the lenses back and forth, doesn't seem like you can actually move them a whole lot, but, yeah, I don't know how good these buttons are. These buttons don't seem, the buttons on bottom do not seem to be very good as far as uh, lens movers. It doesn't look like, I mean, you can move the lens, but it does not seem like there's a whole lot of, uh, you know, play there, and the bottom pieces don't actually lock, so the problem is you can't actually lock your lenses in place. They do stay, but if you were to move your hand and touch them, they would just, of course, drift. So they've got a magnet built in here, so of course when you push the button, it'll work for the game as well. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn Veer VR on right now, and this is kind of an application that allows you to look at 360 pictures and videos, uh, either uploaded by users or even yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, just, uh, how about I click on Featured? We'll go ahead and look at one of these Featured pieces. desk tech headset in its bag and we're ready to go ahead and uh, head to the park and go see what our friends think of the headset later all right well in my opinion this headset is uh, definitely more comfortable than its predecessor uh, it, it has you know uh, a really nice and sleek design going for it I'd say it looks nice if you were wearing it or showing it off to friends they certainly wouldn't be disappointed uh, as far as a mobile headset is concerned something that plays cardboard games as well as can just watch 360 videos and pictures this is not a bad device for that 
Um, of course, when you're talking about something uh, as far as virtual reality and the new term, uh, what people are experiencing when they're talking about room scale and the Gear VR, this doesn't even, of course, touch that kind of experience. Um, and for that reason, I do think that these actually do have a reason to be in the market. Um, at the same time, we need to make sure there's a huge, clear distinction when you're selling these two things. This is a mobile VR headset that's perfect for 360 videos and 360 pictures and Android cardboard games. Uh, other than that, I wouldn't use it for anything else. Uh, still, anyways, uh, as, as far as the previous versions, they have certainly gotten a lot better. As you can see, the comfort is there, the ease of use. Anybody can buy this and put it together. Anybody can throw the, a 360 video on their phone, put it in. Facebook now has 360 videos and pictures a part of their uh, normal feeds, so you can just simply just throw those in here and look at it from your Facebook. So uh, it's really nice for those purposes. And uh, anyway, you guys can make a choice for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.